Hey folks, welcome back. Uh, it's Jeff again. Just going to do a little tool review, if you will. Uh, as I have mentioned before, I'm a self-taught wannabe chainsaw carver. Make a few little animals, creatures, decorations with a chainsaw and locks. And uh, sometime back, came across this tool. It's an old draw knife. Uh, really don't know who made it, but this is an old antique. Uh, over the last several years, we've lost a lot of family members with age. Uh, so I'm really not sure. I had an uncle who was a carpenter and my wife's father used to enjoy doing woodworking and I wound up with a few tools from both of these men. Not really sure who it belonged to, but whoever it was, I do appreciate it. Uh, I came across it in a bucket of tools I had from them that I was really just going to put on the wall as decoration here in my barn. But uh, one of the things I've learned, if you're cutting logs to do carvings, you got to cut them down, you got to let them season a little bit, and if you want to keep that wood from rotting, you need to take that bark off and let it air dry and then hope it don't crack or split, which will happen with wood. But uh, this little tool, there's no telling how old this thing is. Let me come in a little closer where you can see. Uh, there we go. It's old, the paint's knocked off the handle and I haven't done anything to this. Uh, it's just like it was when I found it. But this was made to skin the bark off a of post I'll give you a little quick demo. This thing works just as good if it was just off the assembly line. You just lay it on there and it just peels. This is a piece of cedar that I'm gonna try to make a bowl out of. But just like that, you can take it, pull down on it, and it don't take no time to get it down to the naked wood. And since I'm doing this for demonstration purpose, you can see right here where my finger is. It's already coming down to the pretty white wood of this red cedar. I don't have my equipment set up to really work on it. I just set it up for demonstration. But if I knew the manufacturer, if it had any name, I would gladly give them credit. But this tool is probably older than I am. Let me back up here. I'm getting too close to the camera. Probably older than I am. And I'll be 55 in a few days. But still works, still sharp. And without it, a lot of wood I try to carve would go to waste. So if you ever antique shopping or ever looking around at old places, you might have a need for one of these. They sure do come in handy. Thank y'all. Next time I, till the next time I see you, if good Lord's will and creek don't rise, we'll catch you on down the road. Y'all have a fun Friday.